Hello, my name is Sven Henrik Norman and I work at MAPE's Nordic R&D Hub with our environmental products and solutions. I would like to start out by showing you a video that gives you a picture of how we at MAPE look at sustainability and how our recon line of products can help you as a concrete producer to both save money and produce concrete in a sustainable way. Let's start the video. In the video you just watched, we have highlighted the environmental challenges that we in the concrete industry face. We also show some of the solutions that MAPE have developed to meet these challenges. Globally, we have seen the issue of sustainability becoming more and more important. The increasing lack of virgin raw materials and the increased focus on reducing landfill of waste concrete and polluted water are issues that have come in focus across the world, most probably in your state as well. These are issues that MAPE have been working on for several years and we are ready to supply products and solutions that will help you as a concrete producer to have a profitable operation and still make concrete in a sustainable way. You can do this by moving away from a linear production model to a much more circular way of thinking. By looking at costly waste streams and transform them into reusable materials, you can transform your waste into value. We also call it future-proving your concrete production. The solutions in the Recon line portfolio do just that. They help you transform your waste into resource materials. If you were to make a risk analysis of your future operational costs, you would find that increasing landfill gate fees could seriously affect your future profits. This graph 
shows a projection of total cost per year in a 50,000 cubic yard operation if the gate fee cost per ton increases. You can see that if the landfill gate fee would be $40 to $50 per ton, similar to the national average gate fee for household waste, the total yearly cost for a 50,000 cubic yard operation would be around $175,000. If you instead had the recon line system in place, those costs would be very moderate in comparison. Your bottom line would look much better and your business would be much more protected against future environmental costs and regulations. This is what we mean by future-proofing your concrete production. Today, I'm going to talk about a process in the recon line called dry washing. It's a system designed to reduce truck washing sludge waste and improve the quality of your washing water. We invented this method in 2018, and since then we have supplied the system to several customers in Scandinavia. We are very proud of the fact that it was awarded Innovation of the Year in 2020 by the Norwegian building industry. So, how does it work? Let me walk you through the process step by step. The first phase is to transform return concrete by using the patented MAPEI Recon Zero EVO product. Fresh concrete is transformed within minutes with Recon Zero. The result is a gravel-like agglomerate of aggregates and cement paste. When the Recon Zero aggregates have hardened and dried, we go to phase two, dry washing. By feeding the Recon Zero aggregates into a truck mixer as a dry wash at the end of the day, we absorb at least 70% of the sludge covering the inside of the drum and the fins. The aggregate can be reused about 20 times this way before it's saturated. After being in circulation this way as a dry washing aggregate for about a week or two, you can sell the material as a road-based filling material or use the aggregates in, for example, concrete block production. After the dry washing process, you only need a light wash of the truck drum with water. Additionally, that washing water will have a much lower pH and much less solids, leaving it to sediment much quicker than if you wash with only with water. The difference between washing with water only and dry washing plus a light wash is quite stunning. These images show just how much less sludge comes out of the drum after you have dry washed. If you add up this difference from each truck being washed every day for a full year, you'll understand just how much waste you can save by using dry washing. Dry washing really is a simple and effective way of transforming your waste into a recyclable material. I would now like to show you a short video of where it all started. The first dry washing application in the world. Nordic Concrete Group is Norway's largest concrete supplier, with more than 50 sites across the whole country and a turnover of $220 million. We worked very closely with them in developing our recon dry washing process at one of their sites, Ölenbetong Gismarvik. Here, on the rugged west coast by the North Sea, where the Vikings used to set out in their ships, we started our journey with recon dry washing. So let's go to Norway. Svaret der må utvilsomt være at nå er det 100%. Alt som er puttet i en betongbil, det skal brukes i form av et produkt. Og her finnes det masse muligheter. Noen har vi allerede klart å finne. Og så er det spennende å se hva mer en kan komme på i fremtiden. Ja, altså her på Gismarvik så har vi hatt veldig god suksess med tørrvassprosedyren, spesielt den siste tiden. Så har vi klart å begynne å konkludere og komme mer til en fasit rundt dette, hvordan dette skal gjøres. Vi har fortsatt en vei å gå, men det er ingen tvil om at dette har begrenset vår slamproblematikk i veldig stor grad. Dette kan vi si nå, det fungerer. Når bilene kommer inn og er ferdige for dagen, og vi tar tørrvasken, så får vi møte renere biler innvendig, både på baksiden av skovlene og på fremsiden av skovlene. Og vi får også tak i slammet, som vi ikke fikk tak i på samme måten før. Det får vi nå med oss ut. Og når bilen da har tømt dette ifra seg, så er det bare å spyle lett over skovlene bak, og så er det å parkere. Når betongbilen kommer inn om kvelden, så står han sånn, så han står bak meg her nå. Siloen som står på siden, den tar da og mater granulatet opp på beltet, og beltet tar å føre det inn i betongbilen, som står og går med en stor omdreining. Da tar den med seg slammet og resten av betongen. Så tar sjåføren og kjører bort, går inn på lager 1, og så kjører han massen ut og inn tre ganger, og så tømmer han det ut på golvet. 
Og så neste dag er det blitt torket, og da knuser vi det med hjulast der. Så overfører vi det til lager nummer tre, og da er det en ny prosess som er begynt på nytt igjen. Og når vi skal tørre vaske igjen da, så tar vi det ut og legger det på siloen. Og så fortsetter vi. Og hvor lenge kan det, kan det gå innan materialet er mettet? Må... Hvis det er torrt og fint vær, så kan vi få det til å gå i flere veker. Er det vått, så må vi skifte det ut lettere opp til en gang i veker kanskje, men da tunner vi det bare ut. Men 14 dager er ikke et problem. Og sen når tilslaget er helt mettet, brukes det som resirkulert tilslag i, i ny beton? Ja, da går det til basen og går inn i Lego-produksjonen som vi har her på Gismarvik. Og da blir det Lego-klosser, som vi sier, i betong. Og da går det ut som et ferdig produkt. Og da har vi resirkulert den restbetongen som ligger i slam. Thank you very much for listening. I hope it was interesting for you. If you have any questions, please talk to our local reps or visit our website.